Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Learn to Speak Malay Like a Local. My name is Lisa and today I would like to teach you all the Malay words associated with flavour. And I think there's a cat fighting somewhere at the back, I hope you cannot hear it. Okay, so the first one is manis. Manis means sweet. Manis. Manis. And if you want like a comparison, you can say, you know, like how you say sweet like sugar or sweet like honey. So in Malay, it is manis macam gula or manis macam madu. So gula is sugar and madu is honey. All right. Manis macam gula. Manis macam madu. The second one is salty. And salty in Malay is masin. Ma sin. Ma sin. And if you want to say, um, you know, a comparison, we say masin macam garam. And garam is salt. So in English, it's salty like salt. Masin macam garam. Garam is salt. Oh, still raining a bit. And the third one is sour. <clears throat> and sour in English is masam. 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 And masam macam chuka. Sour like vinegar. Chuka is vinegar. Chuka. Masam macam chuka. And bitter. Bitter is pahit. Pa hit pa hit and pa hit macam hempedu hempedu and hempedu is bile you know that um, secretion from your liver when you want to digest food yeah that's as far the extent of my knowledge in biology didn't really pay attention in class okay pa hit bitter macam hempedu like bile and another one is kelat. Um, we usually use kelat to describe the, you know, this bitter aftertaste if you accidentally ate an unripe fruit. So you know that feeling you have on your tongue if you eat a, a fruit that's not very ripe. So in Malay, we call it kelat. Kelat. And then moving on to tawa. And tawa is bland, like... If your food doesn't really taste like anything, um, you know, it's um, tasteless. So in Malay, it is tawa. Tawa. Uh, I know there's an R in it, but we don't really, it's almost inaudible. So it's not like tawar, it's tawa. Tawa macam ai, bland, like water. Macam ai. Ai is water. And then pedas. Pedas is hot, but not hot temperature, but chilly hot. So if you want to say you cannot uh, stand hot food, you can say saya tak tahan pedas. Saya tak tahan pedas. Or saya tak tahan makanan pedas. I cannot take uh, spicy food. Okay, so pedas macam chili api. Oh god, the surat kabar lama is here. Anyway, so pedas macam chili api or chili padi. Hot like chili, the, the small, I think it's called bird's eye chili. Yeah, the super tiny hot one. Pedas macam chili or pedas macam chili api or chili padi. And then there is lemak. Lemak means... That, for your information, is the, uh, uh, you know, people collecting the newspapers or they're saying paper lama, paper lama, old newspaper. So, that's how they sound like. It's a very familiar sound for Malaysians. Anyway, um, the next one is lemak. Lemak means fat, literally, but we use lemak to describe a taste that is rich. Like if you put um, coconut milk in curry, right? 
So coconut milk is santan. So lemak macam santan, rich like coconut milk. So you can use it to describe, um, you know, a very rich gravy or rich moist chocolate cake. You know, that richness. He's coming back. He went up and he's coming back down. Surat kabar lama, buku lama. Surat kabar lama, bateri lama. Old newspaper, old books. Old newspaper, old battery. That is the slogan for the old newspaper people. <laughs> okay, and to the last one, payau. Payau is a combination of like um, a bit of bitterness and a bit of sourness. So like um, hard water. Um, for people who are used to hard water, I guess you wouldn't taste it anymore. But like in Malaysia, our water is treated, so it doesn't really taste like anything. But when I go to the UK and I drink tap water, it tastes like that. Payau. It's a bit bitter and a bit sour. Okay, so that's the end of all the flavors. And a quick recap. Sweet is manis. Salty is um, masin. Sour is masam. Bitter is pahit, bland is tawa, hot is pedas, chili hot, rich is lemak, payau is um, that combination of that bitter and sour taste of hard water, and kelat is the bitter aftertaste of an unripe fruit. That's how I describe it at least. And um, pahit and manis can also be used to describe experience. So... Um, a bitter experience. Pengalaman pahit. Pengalaman experience pahit. Bitter. Pengalaman. Pengalaman. Or um, sweet memories. Kenangan manis. Kenangan manis. So kenangan is to kenang-kenangan. They're like memories but it's more like to reminisce. Okay, so sweet reminisce. Kenangan manis. Okay, so that's it for flavors. I hope you find it useful. And I'm going to go have breakfast. Bye. See you. Ooh.